session we have a uh, chairperson uh, uh, dr paresh joshi from uh, veer narmad south gujarat university surat we warmly welcome dr paresh uh, uh, in this session to chair uh, uh, here uh, hema goswami is going to be the anchor uh, of this uh, uh, session uh, before we start i would like to share a, a, a screen uh from our website this is uh, about the maps uh, page which we have loaded on webinar website and you can see here that from 16 different countries uh, the participants and paper presenters are participating in this uh, international webinar on elt and technology uh from india also we have uh, a pan india presence uh in this uh, webinar almost all the states and unit uh, uh, union territories are represented uh, in this uh, uh webinar we are very thankful to everybody uh, for this uh, wonderful participation that we have we are seeing uh, in this uh, webinar so uh, now i request uh, uh, hema to take over the mic and start with the the, the announcement good morning all and welcome in the second session of paper presentation i am honored the chairperson of this session professor parish joshi sir from the department of english of vn south gujarat good morning so now i hope that all presenters are present i just want to repeat the instruction please be stick to the time after the completion of 6 minutes i will give you warning now without Time. Let's begin with our first paper presenter, Miss Shakila. Yes. Can you hear my voice now? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, good morning to everyone. My topic of the paper is a study of confronting challenges by the teachers and students in learning English in India during this pandemic period. The objectives of the paper: introduction. difficulties faced by teachers in this pandemic period difficulties faced by students in this pandemic period the problems from technology and network threats and challenges chances to leverage conclusion introduction language is one of the noteworthy components that influence global correspondence exercises on march 1 Six governments founded across the country school terminations due to the lethal coronavirus pandemic, and before the months over, so 185 nations had shut, influencing 90 percent of the world's students. Teachers and students enter another universe of the virtual talks and worksheets as the lockdown achieved by the coronavirus closes down schools and colleges. next difficulty faced by teachers in this pandemic period most instructors think that it's hard to adapt to web based educating the instructors of social examinations and english to basic and secondary school students were back to make web based learning work most of the subjects are pragmatic pragmatic and hands on magnificent culture style plan and fitting office the board travel and the travel industry website composition and so it's hard to educate from a separation difficulties faced by students in this pandemic period nowadays the students are compelled to learn training through innovation not all students may have pcs or tablets to educate or to learn uh, the english e uh, english through the network or the technology they feel about their character improvement foundation and regular propensities that means they will be missed of uh, gathering in the school with their friends also they will feel about the character improvement like uh, discipline etc so they feel about the physical education period. particularly for school students they will be feel about that pt period so they will be very much enjoyed that the studying uh, uh, to concentrate on their playing games sports etc the problems from technology and network what today i had faced e learning being the most recent flood of training is as of now having a reasonable show not the standing presenting difficulties for the both teachers and students they are what are the things that they will be face the problems are adaptability struggle technical issues computer literacy self motivation 
threats and challenges distance learning will strengthen educating and learning approaches that we know don't function admirably next the teachers will be overpowered and unsupported school terminations will extend the value holes chances to leverage blended learning approaches will be attempted tried so sorry tried and progressively utilized teachers and schools will get more regard gratefulness and backing for the significant job in the public arena quality instructing and learning materials will be better curated and all the more generally utilized at last conclusion so the technology is not going to help us in future according to my opinion because i am staying in the village today uh, actually my session is in the first session i have to submit my paper presentation due to this due to this poor uh, network uh, whatever the technology it was improved but i am not able to present my paper in time uh, so it will be keep on continue like this means uh, for as it's not a problem because there are so many uh, great persons like uh, delhi barista they had given me an extra chance to present but in future that we can't expect more or we can't expect the government they will be support like this because the people or the the teachers or the students those who have the facilities like uh, uh, having the tech, uh, that means the laptops or the computers and the uh, well a uh, network uh, uh, that means facilities they only uh, that means uh, fully adapted in the education but the remaining they can't uh, attain the education properly so uh, we can't give the 100% 100% education to the whole students in this uh, in this pandemic uh, period only the both the sites that we can say like uh, the people those who have the technology properly the network properly and the parents those who are uh, encouraging the students in a correct way to achieve their education so these are these all these things only uh, give a 100% result of teaching uh, uh, that means uh, teaching or learning or gaining the knowledge through the technology with at last uh, i am concluding with the three points with each emergency some uh, come profound difficulties and open doors for change past trainings emergencies have demonstrated that it is convincible to work back better the teachers are to make innovation coordinated exercise materials too the guardians are to likewise to prepare persuade and energize energize the watch in e learning thank you thank you very much for bharat sir one who had given me a, a chance and opportunity to present a paper in this great international webinar thanks once again for the whole team thank you very much thank you shakila just a minute hema thanks a lot shakila also she was facing an network problem so yes sir definitely to... Yeah. and actually, from there yes, actually, uh, actually so your street also is wonderful huh? thanks a lot okay yeah. sir thank you sir thank you sir yeah. please hema continue hema continue now i would like to invite miss rina khasatia to present her paper and after that yamini reddy gari please be ready hello hello yes hi ma'am are you able to see my screen yes hello yes is it we visible are able to see, yeah it is visible please continue yes so uh, hello everyone today i'm going to talk about elt and elt with ict demand and disorientation of education in this century first i would like to I'll start with the myth that uh, in Hinduism or Christianity or any 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 religion, uh, it uh, it shows that cyclical nature of the life and it teaches that as you sow, so you reap. So good intent and actions lead to a good future. Bad intent and bad actions lead to a bad future. It's a broad view of life. So. the value of education is not the learning of many facts but the training of the mind to how to think uh, as albert einstein say so and the through uh, throughout the journey of many years of education we teach and learn these values so outline of my research is based on this five questions that uh, here uh, five questions here i mentioned and i will try to present a uh, uh, i will justify uh, each question 
uh, first is that what is being read and write mean by you when the world is facing great many troubles in the current time why people are equally tense for the education it is great concern that many people are uh, uh, nowadays uh, more concerned about food but same uh, we uh, or many people or a great ma uh, mass is uh, 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 really concerned about the education there are many reasons but the main is education is the only hope in all the darkness here i would like to remember the concept of tamso ma jyotirgamaya means from the dark and uh, from the very deep dark we wants to go to the light and the education brings the lights why does the english language is much important over the past decades english language has undoubtedly become the only language that connects the whole world together hence english language has become severely vital in every aspect of life if we want to be vocal for a local as economy required and nowadays we are uh, talking so much about that that if we want to be vocal for a local at the global level certainly we will face the communicative competence and we have to be ready for that challenges now why english language teaching uh, we can say that stories in the press easily demonize the decline of english language but as soon as we take the english language as much important in the education the teaching and the learning of educate english becomes the substantial english provides essential tools for literacy and it can give lifelong emotional nourishment to the learner and so many points here we can discuss that why english language teaching is the mo mo most important now what are the teachers and students role in this uh, in this phrase or uh, in this uh, in this time here i i mentioned the two question that what did our experience of learning english teaches us uh, and how we will pass it to our students how to develop interest for a self learning as a teacher here i would like to say that uh, from last 10 or 15 days i start learning a, a few students that how they are using mobile phone or how to use the technology and how to develop the self uh, self uh, interest uh, towards the, towards the learning so it seems uh, quite uh, interesting that uh, students are eagerly wants to learn but if we drive uh, if we drive or uh, uh, drive to the right path they certainly they are going to use the technology in the right way now uh, how to tackle with the new challenges notion of a new always brings uncomfort in the beginning but the time requires the changes if teacher will oriented only talk and talk it will be great harm for upcoming generation we should be ready with our updated weapons and what are the our updated weapons is internet connection smart electronic devices and well developed mind is basic requirement of the time how do we do it in in the culture where for 3000 years if you wanted to become a cobbler or a carpenter you had better have an uncle or a father means uh, uh, who is a cobbler or a carpenter because nobody else is going to teach you means uh, 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 transmission of the uh, transmission of the education we are uh, taking uh, as a heritage from the from the our uh, past generation and we are passing to our next generation so it's a great concern we have to find a solution because right now uh, nothing is like that that uh, we have already and we have to pass a new, new generation we have to develop a new concepts and uh, skills so next point is are we going to break the old shackles of the education in the era of the internet we don't need a well filled mind we have got google right it finds out everything we want with a two clicks of the mouse what we need is a well formed mind we need a new mindset students who understands the value of a self study we should guide them what to learn and how to learn uh, uh in a conclusion i would like to mention shashi tharoor's words in one of his ted talk he was uh, talking that we need to do things that others haven't done before which we used to do in our culture we are the land that invented the zero remember how the romans used to write the numerals in the long strings of letters until an indian thought of idea of zero emerging from the notion of shunyata in hindu and buddhist thinking and that came into the zero shunya which transformed the global mathematics it is not mean that i am blowing the triumph that india 
invited the zero but we should we should uh, need that re, uh, rethinking or or that that thing we need now nowadays now uh, before uh, before the end uh, i would like to and uh, at the end i would like to tell that the will to win is important but the but the will to prepare is vital now that's all the skills of the challenges what we have discussed that we have and uh, uh, and we are facing right now so what to do with with it a great deal needs to be done thank you thank you very much nice presentation reena now next i would like to invite yamini redigari to present her paper and after that rashmi rekha please be ready hi everyone am i audible ma'am yes audible yes. my warm greetings to the organizer and my co participants i'm redigari yamini from kannur i'm a final year post graduate student in ma english literature at sri venkateshwara university tirupati Now I am going to give paper presentation on practical aspects of ELT and technology. English is used as second or third language, and for some people, the first language. With the spread and development of English around the world, it has become an important means of communication among the people of different cultures and languages. As the number of English learners are growing up, different teaching methods have been ex experimented to see the effectiveness of English language teaching. the use of technology in the form of films radio tv and tape recording has been there for a long time yamini, technology... yamini uh, do you want to share your screen uh, no sir orally you want to present okay. Uh, okay fine please continue technology has turned into one essential aspect of society that helps students to understand the bigger picture of the world and not just stay confined to what college and teachers teach them within their classrooms the 21st century is the age of globalization and the information technology with the rapid growth of science and technology the use of multimedia technology in, in language teaching has created a favorable context for reforming and exploring english language teaching models in the new age in fact the growth of the internet has facilitated the growth of the english language in this sense computers are no longer the exclusive domains for a few individuals but rather they are available to many as the english language teaching models change rapidly there has been a significant growth of literature regarding the use of technology in english language teaching use of technology in teaching english to face the new reality which is related about the increasing of english uh, new teachers are needed to be instructed to guide students in a successful teaching elt gives students too many opportunities to gain confidence and practice one its characteristics is that is a new manner of learning and teaching english is more dynamic than the old ones the growth of elt through te technology english language teaching has been with us for many years and is keeping on growing fueled partially by internet in 2000 There were about billion English learners, but ten years later, the number doubled. On the other hand, over eighty percent of the information stored in internet is in English. At present, there are more native, non-native than native who uses the English language. Coming to the analysis on necessity of application of multimedia technology to English teaching to cultivate students' interest in study. Nowadays multimedia technology is more acceptable because it offers a various resources as visual animations effects naturally and humanly makes us more access to information besides multimedia technology offers a sense of reality and function very well which greatly cultivates students interest and it also promotes students communication capacity to widen students knowledge to gain an insightful understanding to western culture to improve teaching effect to improve interaction between the student and the te teacher creates a context for language teaching provide flexibility to course content and coming to the advantages of the use of technology in elt 
as the multimedia technology becomes more readily available to all of us it seems appropriate that the language teachers should integrate it into their lesson and assessment planning in the same way they have been doing with video film and computer assisted learning strategies the students are surrounded by te technology and this technology can provide interesting and new approaches to language teaching because the use of technology for teaching and learning is uh, moving their institution in the right direction in this way the teachers of english can take full advantage of technology to teach english in the non native speaking countries some of the important advantages of the use of multimedia technology are it motivates students to learn english widens students knowledge about the culture of english improves teaching efficiency enhances interaction among students and between teachers and students provides opportunities for english teaching outside the classrooms and uh, there are some disadvantages as well there are many disadvantages of using multimedia technology in english language teaching despite it has facilitated the language teachers to improve their efficiency in teaching some of the disadvantages of this study has founded in the context of non native speaking countries some of the disadvantages are emphasis on the supplementary of effective teaching lack of communication between teachers and students lack of real time teaching loss of students logical thinking expensive way of conducting language classes coming to the recommendations uh, multimedia technology and language teaching have gone hand to hand for a long time and contributed as teaching tools in the language classrooms however multimedia technology is still a source of fears and insecurity for many teachers everywhere around the world despite the latest developments applicable applicable to language teaching such as websites blogs online journals teaching methodology and so on one of the recommendation that teachers should play the leading role in teaching teachers should not consider the computer screen as blackboard or whiteboard the teachers should encourage students to use their own mind and speak more teachers should use all possible teaching aids and techniques teachers should not overuse multimedia technology thinking ma capacity you have 2 minutes more okay ma thinking capacity should be the major objective in teaching and using of multimedia technology and it should not take up the students time for thinking analysis and exploring questions coming to the conclusion of my presentation in my opinion multimedia is a modern and useful tool which makes the teaching and learning time in classroom more dynamic but it should not replace the important role of teacher play as a guide the human factor allows students to interact from the very beginning during the process of learning language we have to be aware that we cannot throw away some extra resources like the blackboard where many explanations can be given to let students gain a solid knowledge of language they are learning a good teaching happens when students have the opportunity to think on their own way in the process of learning and this is possible by the actions of teacher who who should use the modern technology but in the right way thank you everyone for your kind attention and i thank the organizer for giving me such a wonderful opportunity have a nice day thank you ma'am now i would like to invite rashmi rekha to present her paper and after that ramakrishnan ji please be ready rashmi rekha yeah rashmi rekha are you there in the webinar room okay who is the next one hema rama krishnan see yeah rama krishnan are you there ready for your presentation okay who is after that rajkumar ji yeah rajkumar
Rajkumar, are you there in the webinar room? In case you have a problem with audio, you can put a message in chat also. Okay, next one. Raj Desan. Hi, yes, I'm here. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, you, uh, yes, Raj, do you want to share PPT or orally present? I'll, I'll share a PPT. Okay, please do it. Yeah. And if possible, keep your camera also on. Yes. Hi, so can you see my presentation? Uh, yes. yes, please run your PPT. Yeah. Okay. So the title I'll be talking about is uh, the title is Integrated Approach, the Art of Teaching English Language in the 21st Century. Uh, two or three important words in, in this title, I feel one, one is integrated, the second is art. Uh, we'll discuss what are the, the implications of these two words in further slides. And the third one is 21st century. So I think we, uh, at this point, we should think about uh, the technology or the pedagogy that will help us uh, with our English uh, teaching uh, methods, not just in 2020, but even 20, 30, 40 years down the line. Only then uh, will a method will uh, be sustainable. Uh, so basically, I feel there are uh, multiple tools which can make up uh, a comprehensive method in, alignment, in alignment with various theories out there, like behavioral theories, con constructive theories, linguist theories, and so on. So I feel the whole problem arises when watertight compartments are created to keep one method of uh, one method or theory separate from the another. So today, I feel we need to bring them all together. very uh, suitable quote by Roger Clark. He says that uh, there is no new thing under the sun, said the preacher, but we English teachers in the second half of the 20th century, in the second half of the, of the 20th century, but uh, 21st century, right? There seems to be a problem in the bandwidth. There is a low network. Yes, Raj Dasani, we are not able to listen you. I think you have a network problem. Uh, yes, Raj, we are not able yes. to listen you. Yeah. There is a, some network problem, I think, on your side. Uh, okay, fine. Continue. Now, now, please continue. Now it's okay. 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 So, uh, uh, what I propose that uh, rather than just dividing language into different elements, what should be done is that each element should be given a uh, suitable treatment. Uh, instead of delivering the whole language using one method, various methods can cohesively be used to deliver several unique aspects of a language. Uh, so only such an integration becomes uh, the, uh, the essence of this mm -hmm. method. We can give him some time and uh, take the next next presenter. Uh, you know, uh, this presentation seems to be a good presentation, but uh, Professor Bharat, over to you. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Hello. yeah, please continue, Raj. Yeah. Let, let so uh, what is the problem with the audio or the video? No, audio, audio problem we have. OK. Is 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 uh, am I audible now? Uh, yes, audible now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, I'll continue. Just, just let me know if it stops working. Uh, so what what I propose is a, a, a so such an integration. I yes, audible. Uh, is, is, I think he's disconnected. Yeah, Hema, you can announce for the another person. We'll take him later on again. Yeah.
yes hema announce for the next one we'll take him again after the network is restored we can probably drop a message to him that he can rejoin once his uh, net connectivity is re established Uh, yes uh, is there rachna yadav are you there in the webinar room rachna yadav okay r subhasini hello r subhasini kya yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Subhash, sir. Okay, fine. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. A very good morning, sir. And uh, I feel very happy to share my uh, presentation uh, in the live. And I, I would thank to uh, the lips, sir, and uh, the committees, those who are uh, conducted this beautiful international webinar. And I would thank. Uh, Once again, to my God, and now I'm going to share my PPT. Would like to invite. Hello. Yeah, yeah. One second. Yeah, Subhasini, your screen is visible. Please continue. One second. I will invite. My topic is Next. a great way to engage English language learners. a great way to engage english language learners uh, in the digital environment uh, remote teaching creates huge opportunities for effective learning and collaboration outside the classroom one of the most effective ways to support remote teaching and learning is to give every learner an opportunity to deliver a topic area for example you can divide up the current areas of the study and ask learners to teach the rest of the class this may be as individuals or in small groups and the focus should be on pedagogy and learning rather than technology all the tools still require skill experience and expertise of a teacher they may involve approaches and techniques that you should not normally use the tools you choose should be in line with any school e safety policy uh there are uh, some tools which we can implement in the digital learning is the first one is an independent learning uh during this pandemic situation there will be a lot more independent learning taking place it is important to support your learners so they have the motivation to engage with tasks and activities while they are on their own you should plan for independent learning online in a similar way to planning for the classroom make sure you provide appropriate levels of guidance for independent learning tasks so that your learners feel challenged but can achieve the learning outcomes you want for them so independent learning we can give for our students like research based activities and project work the next one is i'm going to talk on encouraging student voice
Subhashini, I think uh, we are not able to listen you. Subhashini, are you able to listen us? There is some network problem. Your voice is not audible. We can see your slide, but your audio is not audible to us. I think she is disconnected. Okay, uh, we will take her, also her turn later on if she is able to connect again. Right now, we move on to uh, Priyanka Kumari Patel. Are you there, Priyanka Kumari? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, please. Uh, yeah, continue with your presentation. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Your slides okay. are also visible. Please continue. Okay. Okay, so I'm Priyanka Patel from Gandhinagar, Gujarat and I'm research scholar in Gujarat University. In this presentation, um, my subject is breaking traditional classroom technologies to be used in psychological situation, aspects of teacher and learner. As pandemic of COVID-19 approached in India, first thing was in lockdown was schools and universities. It's been more than two months since we went to university. And this situation is going to be here for a while. So now use of technology in English language teaching is new normal. Thanks to the rapid advancement of technology, online learning is a part of many institutes. From certificates to PhD, learning online has never been so easy. Let's look up to practical strategies to deal with remote online English language teaching. Advances in technology now allow students to study entirely online while still socializing with classmates, watching lectures, and participating in subject-specific discussions. We have resources for online learning like e-book, journals, videos, recorded lectures, discussion forums, online classrooms and live question and answer sessions. In ELT teachings, many require to send physical textbooks in advance by email to students. In most area of India, internet is easily available. Students and teachers can join in Google Meet, Zoom classes and study at the same traditional classrooms. Entire classroom can join at the same time. In the online classroom, we must use combination of discussion forums and interactive question and answer sessions to give you the interaction with other students and they give you the live online ELT can be delivered by the institution's online learning environment or any platform. The learning platform will vary depending on the software used but it will usually consist of a central online platform that students can access from their personal computer, mobile, or tablet. As practical aspects of ELT in India, we can say that English is a third language for Indians. As in this global world, it is crucial to overpower language barriers. In this time of epidemics, universities, colleges must start online classrooms on Google, Skype, etc. For the time to syllabus to complete, students can stay at home and learn. Online platform, the students can access from their computer, PC or tablet. This technology also provides microphone and video facility for both sides. So teachers can also ask questions and shows active participation of students. We can see aspects of teacher and learners in this situation. For some professors, online learning may be a completely new experience. If you are coming from a more traditional learning background, they may take some time to adopt this new normal classroom. 
teachers should give individual assignment to students to evaluate their understanding on the subject from time to time we can have discussion of a question or a topic for debate and students must participate their english language proficiency and they they should take participate in debate to demonstrate their own knowledge and understanding teachers should make recording of a video or audio lectures so the students can watch it unlimited time they must available from any platform depending on institution teacher should also be available for individual sessions this enables you to ask questions about topic covered within course and gets further feedback on your progress and areas of english language development in this time of epidemic we don't know how this is going to be end or when we will back in universities but advances in technology now allow students to study entirely online while still socializing with classmates watching lectures and participating in subject specific discussions students considering online study should not be debated by old fashion ideas about real degrees only being awarded by campus based institutions but at any cost learning should never stop for those new to online education this process can be intimidating but help of experienced professionals they will ensure that elt is fair comfortable and designed to help you to make the most of your learning experience in this time of pandemic innovation and learning with technology is must and far new horizon of the sea of learning is ahead of us thank you thank you next i would like to invite priti lokesh patel hello uh, hello everyone uh, i am so much yes, grateful yeah, to just a minute before you begin i would request hema to take a toll of uh, those who are absent yeah. uh, do you have the list before you hema yes sir uh, so just check it out uh, how many of them have not presented or they have left incomplete their presentation also okay in, in, meanwhile she is making the presentation yes priti okay. now you can continue okay yeah thank you sir first of all i am very much grateful to dr dilip barat sir respected chairperson for us joshi sir and their participants today i am going to present my paper on learning rebooted english language teaching during covid 19 lockdown yes we all know that this the lockdown pandemic makes us learn a lot Uh, though it is hazardous situation for us but uh, in education field we can say it's a drastic change uh, coming with this lockdown in the present scenario almost the entire world is getting infected with the deadly epidemic of covid-19 as a result the whole world succumbs to worldwide lockdown in order to take preventive measures against the covid-19 in this in in india along with the suspension of non essential public and private transport workplaces commercial and entertainment establishments and religious places educational training and research places are also closed for uncertain time period as a result education has changed drastically with the distinctive rise of e learning whereby teaching is undertaken remotely through digital platforms in such situation the digital india vision of our government is emerging as a vital instrument for solving the present crisis due to covid-19 lockdown uh, before going ahead i would like to explain the concept of digital india vision of our government honorable prime minister of india sri narendra bhai modi has laid emphasis on national e governance plans and has given approval for digital india a program to transform india into digital empowered society and knowledge economy digital india is a concept to renew the education system in india too it is a program that endeavors to deliver education through digital platform to students and teachers 
as we know that already government has started uh, to implement this um, uh, vision into education field by distributing namo tablets to the first year college students who fulfill eligibility criteria sources of digital libraries and ebooks namo wifi to facilitate internet to the students established smart schools and smart tools also so these are the facilities that government has also given us in our education field going forward towards the e learning english language teaching during lockdown smart tools especially smartphones have enabled smart education teaching and learning remotely has never been easily accessible time saving satisfying and cost effective lockdown across the world has changed the lives of many of us while focusing on education sector many student as well as teacher including me have been faced with unprecedented and in and difficult situations suddenly isolated from our students we should choose the way of online teaching quickly being a teacher we can organize virtual classrooms webinars and develop e content for the sake of our students there are various tools that help the teachers and students with the online course schedule of classes certificate programs etc here is the list of such useful tools which i am talking about today digital screen the very first tool is in traditional classroom the teacher uses the blackboard or whiteboard to teach the students in virtual classroom the blackboard gets replaced by a digital screen teacher can share his e content his or her e content for example documents pps excel sheets charts etc on digital screen of smartphone tablet laptop or computer second tool is digital books in online english in online english language teaching all the most of all the textbooks of english subject are converted into digital pdf pdf and get uploaded on the online websites students can access those books at any time that is the greatest benefit of e books the digital books are easily available and most of them are free of cost next is online exercises basic advantage of online english language teaching is consider its creativity there are many online exercises available on the internet in the form of a quiz puzzle etc which can be helpful in assessing students own progress and learning for english teachers there are various online exercises to access self learning solving online exercises the topics will remain in their mind into for a longer period next is multimedia learning resources teacher can provide various multimedia learning sources to the students to make english language learning more easy and interesting students can learn abstract ideas of language more conveniently and interestingly they can learn their syllabus in the form of audios videos ppts short movies or pictorial content which develop their interest and make a long lasting effect on their memory google drive google drive serves the major purpose of sharing and exchanging data online it provides free space in an online cloud to store and share data video sharing platforms this is most important for for the people like teachers video sharing platforms play an important role in the teaching learning process teachers can create the videos of their lectures and upload on such platforms like youtube vimeo daily motion flickr etc though these platforms sorry through these platforms student can watch the lecture at any time according to their convenience video conferencing meet again an important tool for teachers as well as students video conferencing meet is the platform linking online the teachers and students it attempts to give a live learning experience to student equivalent to home tutoring the teacher and student connect online on such platform like zoom google yeah you have two more minutes yeah yeah i will i will conclude it uh, zoom google meet google hangouts skype webex meet etc and have out sessions after delivering uh, lectures webinar is a more developed form of video conferencing that is done for more serious learning process after that english learning apps are also available 
for example hello english dictionary grammarly udemy bbc learning english hello talk duolingo which can improve uh, english students uh, pronunciation grammatical errors and uh, 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 other basic english knowledge online assessment is also an important tool nowadays because in online education programs multiple choice questions can be used to check students progress whenever they study a new topic teachers should provide a test of multiple choice questions and let them try to solve them without any help the number of right answers will give will give the students self satisfaction of their progress in today's scenario i mean during lockdown online assessment is the most favorable option to conduct students exam in the replacement of current exam system thus the usage of multimedia text in classroom assist learners or students to become familiar with vocabulary and language structures the various multimedia tools such as ebooks films and internet enhance learners linguistic knowledge the use of print film and internet gives learners a chance to collect information and offers them different materials for analysis and interpretation of both language and context i also quote here the statement of mr patel the application of technology has considerably changed english teaching methods it provides so many alternatives as making teaching interesting and more productive in terms of advancement while concluding i would like to say that the use of technologies are definitely plays a key role in language learning based on their own place helps in self understanding does not stop interaction with the teacher and creates high motivation in learners for effective learning of language skills uh, thus pandemic lockdown makes us learn that this is an ideal time to experiment and deploy new tools to make english language teaching meaningful to students who can't go to school or colleges right now the educators or teachers across the country must adapt online teaching through virtual class by using various digital tools this is how we can ensure that teaching and learning never stop in any situation thank you so much sir thank you ma'am next i would yeah. like to invite ma'am excuse me yes subhashini yes yeah ma'am uh, due to connectivity problem i am unable to present can i start now yes yes you can start yeah yeah let, let her uh, let her complete her presentation yeah sorry sir due to the connectivity yeah, no, no problem no problem subhashini you can continue you from where you left in between oh fine 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 sir ppt sharp hema are you there yes yes sir are you there are the take care of the time yeah okay sir give yeah, one sec ma'am yeah no problem take your time yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I start from first, sir, or or else? Uh, where you left in between? From where there I left? Okay, introduction. Okay. Introduction. Okay. Uh, can I start with the second point? Uh, the second one is an encouraging student voice. a uh, student voice is the active engagement of young people in their education via opportunities for them to share perspectives about their learning so can you get me hello yes we can we can listen you you, you can yeah play yeah your yeah yeah play your ppt yeah. okay okay encouraging student screen. voice yeah can you see my make, ppt make it full screen full screen make it full screen yeah, play play yeah. the ppt Yeah, yeah. One second. Now you can see as a full screen, sir. Not yet. Slide show. Put the slide show on. On. Slide show on. Or push F five on your on your keyboard. No. Okay, okay, sir. Now you can see the slide, sir. Please as a full on. screen. Okay. okay. F five. Yeah. Uh, encouraging student voice helps to promote autonomy and engagement by making sure students are fully engaged in the learning processes 
So there are many ways we can develop student voice in an online setting, such as uh, encourage communication in the online space you are using. And the next one is be responsive to your students. Recognize the challenges that your students may be facing. Then support your students. And the next one is the group work. For many, for many teachers, facilitating online group is daunting and challenging. However, many of the planning decisions we make in a normal classroom setting also apply to the online environment. When your students are learning remotely, there are some additional factors to consider, such as uh, we can make our groups as a very small size, so that uh, we can uh, concentrate on each and every student. And the next one is uh, we can deal with the conflict. What are the conflicts the students are facing? We can deal with them. And the next one is be clear about the tools to be used. So we have to be very clear what are the tools we are using in the pla online platform. And the next one is then giving feedback. It is a very, very important. So it may feel like a substantial challenge to provide feedback to students remotely. It is important, however, that our isolated students know how they are progressing to keep them motivated and to give them a sense of where they are in their learning. So planning how and when you will give feedback will help you to manage your workload and the workload of your learners. Providing feedback both on the quality of work produced and the effort a student has made will encourage further good work, especially when motivation may be difficult in the current circumstances, such as do not give yourself to, like uh, for example, for the teacher, you should not uh, give full self. Do not give yourself too much to do. We have to give chance for our learners and there should be a peer feedback. Be, uh, feedback between the students and next one is the class feedback set clear aims for the task so there is a clear aim uh, when we are setting the task in the online platform and the next one is effective questioning effective questioning so uh, we have to pose the questions towards our students effective questioning involves thinking carefully about the question you're asking the purpose behind asking the question and what will be done with the responses these principles are as relevant online as they are in the classroom so benefits of asking questions online uh, questions to encourage reflections using questions to personalize online activities. Who asks the questions? And uh, finally, uh, to conclude, uh, digital learning is not just a change of technology. It is part of a redefinition of how we as a species transmit knowledge, skills, and values to younger generations of workers and students. The main importance of learning objective is to teach what learners need to learn in the way they most naturally learn. Thank you. And I thank, thank yeah, I thank uh, once again for the lip sir and all the coordinators to give me a wonderful opportunity to present in the live session. Now I would like to invite Prashant Kumar to present his paper. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, audible. Okay. Let me start. Let me present my paper. Present your screen. Okay. Yeah, Prashant. Okay. Yeah, okay. You are sharing your screen. Okay, it's okay. <clears throat> okay. No, your sound Hello. is a problem. We are not able to listen you, Prashant. Hello. Ah, yes. Now Hello. we can listen. Yeah, we can listen you now. Yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Prashant Chauhan from Jyoti Surat. 
Uh, my topic for today's presentation is flipped English classroom, a way forward in the era of COVID-19. Uh, before I start my presentation, uh, I want to refer to the comment made by Dr. Professor the pedagogy is first and technology is next. I totally agree with it, but looking to the pandemic situation all over the world, uh, we need to be, uh, we need to explore the ways of engaging our students. So my idea when I've been performing uh, the, the classroom, the flipped uh, flip classroom, so I'll be very much brief and I'll be uh, giving my experiences of creating the flipped English classroom because I've been teaching English to the first year engineering students. I'll talk about the technological aspects of creating a flipped classroom for an effective flipped classroom. Prashant, you need to speak a little bit louder. Yeah, speak a little bit louder, yeah. Hello, uh, can it be? Hello. I, I will talk about the technological aspects of creating a flipped classroom. For an effective flipped classroom, a teacher basically needs some software of presentation, audiovisual recording, audiovisual editor, and a learning management system. I will talk of the free and open source version of the said applications or software as to how to make effective use of them in creating split classroom by substituting a physical classroom, traditional classroom, due to the pandemic COVID-19. Uh, yeah, you can see the uh, slide. Uh, we are all crippled with the lockdown. So never before in uh, recent memory has the system imposed on itself a voluntary lockdown of this scale and duration. The lockdown has compounded the nature of the adverse consequences on people as well as economies. The pandemic has already killed more than 270,000 people worldwide and crippled the global economy. The lockdown is a dream reality, an administrative necessity and sensible strategy of avoiding an unmanageable health epidemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has also affected educational systems worldwide, leading to the near total closures of schools, colleges, and universities. Most governments around the world have temporarily closed educational institutions in an attempt to contain the spread of COVID-19. As of 24th May of 2020, approximately 1.7 billion learners are currently affected due to school closures in response to pandemic. According to UNICEF monitoring, 153 countries are currently implementing nationwide closures and 24 implementing local closures, impacting about almost 98% of the world's student population. As a result, education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise of e-learning whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms. With this sudden shift away from the classroom, the traditional classroom in many parts of the globe, some are wondering whether the adoption of online learning will continue to persist post-pandemic and how such a shift would impact the worldwide education market. A World Economic Forum observes, and I quote, even before COVID-19, there was already high growth and adoption in education technology, with global ad-tech investments reaching 18.66 billion US dollar in 2019, and the overall market for online education projected to reach 350 billion US dollar by 2025. Whether it is language apps, virtual tutoring, video conferencing tools, or online learning software, there has been a significant surge in usage since COVID-19. For those who do have access to right technology, there is evidence that learning online can be more effective in a number of ways. Some research shows that on average, students retain 25 to 60% more material when learning online compared to only 8 to 10 percent in a traditional classroom. This is mostly due to the students being able to learn faster online. 
e-learning requires 40 to 60 percent less time to learn than in a traditional classroom setting because the students can learn at their own pace going back and rereading skipping or accelerating the concepts as they choose sir so, you have two more minutes okay okay, okay okay so i'm directly going to the main topic uh, my main topic is flipped classroom and flipped classroom falls under the category of the asynchronous technological aspect or approach uh, i'll be skipping and moving to the so this is just a definition what an a flip uh, what a flipped classroom is it's an asynchronous approach or a method with the use of technology that helps turn classrooms into an engaging place of learning almost all of us are aware of this and what requires to make a flipped classroom are these uh, uh, points and this slide presents uh, we need to record our lectures after le recording and editing these lectures video lectures uh, then we are assigning these lectures to the students as homework and then uh, to check their understanding and ensure that they are going through these video lectures uh, we also put uh, create some kind of assessment in between these videos and these are called uh, you know in video quizzes and out video quizzes in video quizzes and out is how, how we can read it i will be showing in the following slides uh, and last one you know though it's an asynchronous approach of technological uh, teaching uh, but uh, to somehow to some extent to in order to solve or uh, resolve the queries or the problems of students so we may interact with them with the video conferencing tools like uh, google meet uh, so this is how the, the, the platform works and these are the advantages of flexible learning on part of students flexible model on the part of teachers and we can choose what topics to be given to the students in the form of video lectures then you know in a way, students will be easy to be protected, and we also be easy to. Uh, it will also be easy for us to collect feedback from students. It will definitely create uh, or increase the engagement from the student side, and in a very short time, it can you know, reach more number of students. So, how to execute this flipped learning? You know, uh, uh, what we require, we require you know to create flipped learning, flipped classroom, uh, video recording tools, video editing tools tools for creating individual quizzes and finally to redistribute all or sharing all these materials to the students uh, and learners or a learning management system for assigning video lectures so video lecture video recording tools i'm uh, using or i've been using uh, open broadcaster software so though i'm uh, making aware of this you know most of you are aware of this and those who are not is, i have a look at this website and uh, have some hands-on experiences it, uh, it's very easy uh, open broadcaster software it's an open source freely available uh, it is used for recording and live streaming it is also used to capture and record your screen while it's capturing audio it's available to this uh, uh, from this link and after you know recording and we need to have uh, uh, video editing tools to compress our videos to have some you know, animation or uh, any sort Sir, of time you know, Please last, last minute, on last few seconds. This is closing. Yeah. Few seconds. Uh, what I, I would like to uh, share with you is uh, in video quizzes, uh, Vizia platform provides free of cost uh, creating in video quiz. So that is very much helpful to check uh, the understanding of the students and ensure the students uh, can you know, uh, go through all the video lectures providing to them. So this is what the uh, in-video quizzes and works here. And finally, you know, to do this with all materials, we need to have a Google Manage, uh, Google Classroom. It's uh, and freely available in learning system. So I'm not talking about it. interaction tools. So we can use Google Meet to interact with the students to, in order to solve the problems. Conclusion. So it's a boon in disguise this pandemic 2019, uh, COVID-19, 2019, physical classrooms being closed. I've left us with no option then to engage uh, students virtually. It's also been seen that the only synchronous teaching live online classes to video conferencing tools like the Zoom, WebEx, etc. have posed several threats like financial, technical, psychological, social, etc. Therefore, asynchronous approaches of teaching like uh, flipped classrooms have cleared the way for engaging students' fraternity along with saving all of us from above classroom threat. Thank you very much, everyone, uh, Marit sir, Yoshi sir, and Hema. Uh, I'm closing my presentation. Thanks. Uh -huh.
Okay, me. thank you. Emma, uh, thank uh, my you. presentation um, broke off in the uh, midway. Uh, can I? Yes. Can I yes, yes, you can continue. Uh, yes, Raj Dasani. Yeah? You yeah. had a problem, so you can continue from where you left in between. Uh, I, I actually finished my whole presentation and then realized, so just help me, which was the last uh, slide you saw. You can give concluding remarks of what you were trying to present. Uh, which, which was the last slide everyone saw? Uh, fourth slide, after fourth, fifth onwards, I think. Uh, was this this one? I, I, I... I'll continue with uh, with uh, this one. So okay. So so what kind of uh, approach or what kind of method is this uh, that I'm proposing? So it, it it is a holistic approach towards learning. It is fluid in nature, uh, precise, aesthetic, imaginative, and dynamic. And uh, and again, I'd, I'm not uh, throwing words around here. I, in the further slides, I'll try to explain how uh, or why it it is uh, so and so. So I, it, it has a much wider horizon uh, than factors, than just the factors like uh, purpose, age, behavior, language aptitude, uh, linguistic environment, and so and so. So rather many more factors fall into the gambit of this method. Uh, so the, the, the proposed tools and methods for it are, are the mediums like uh, artificial intelligence, virtual learning, self-learning, interactive software, uh, peer learning, literature, and writing aids. Uh, along with uh, advanced communication. So again, uh, like Professor Nimawat in the last session uh, pointed out, technology shouldn't be incorporated or technology shouldn't be used just for the sake of technology. I feel that uh, any tool or any method that has uh, given good results, uh, has been tried and tested in past, should be retained yeah, and uh, should be uh, tried to, uh, it should be accommodated with the new or the technological uh, methods that, uh, we are, that we are planning to uh, use in future. So I'll, I'll pick up a few of the tools proposed and talk about them briefly. Uh, so artificial, artificial intelligence is a major revenue which integrated approach can venture into. A machine learning, uh, a machine might turn out to be more innovative in creating programs and simulations for learners than a human teacher. Now, of course, the idea isn't to totally make the human teacher uh, redundant. I don't think that is possible anywhere in near uh, future. Uh, the, the only idea is to bring in machines along with uh, the human teachers. So the available resources today, all, all the resources available today must be utilized for futuristic learning and will inspire the learners to engage with language beyond the surface or the utility level. Uh, machine learning will undoubtedly be uh, the next big thing uh, in the field of education, uh, according to me. So the, uh, the next is interactive software. It has immense potential when it comes to uh, technological tools. Various softwares can be built in a form of educational applications, a video game or a website whereby uh, specific needs of the learners can be catered to. Now again, uh, the idea of tailoring the courses uh, for the, at, at a micro level for the students or a group of students uh, can be done through such uh, tailored online courses. Um, also, this tool will enable the teacher to customize learning uh, to last bit at a micro level. The constant interaction in the form of Response or challenge can help make it intriguing and also make it result oriented, where uh, tools, where tools uh, of progress can be tracked easily. Uh, then advanced communication. It encourages conversation through translation from the uh, from the first language to English. It will help the learner understand various limitations and advantages of different languages, along with enabling them to uh, think in English as easily as they do in their first language. So again, uh, like I uh, like I said previously, we could find uh, thousands and lakhs of people who can speak in English, who can speak grammatically correct English, who can speak uh, proper, uh, right proper, but uh, they are they they're still in their head. It's the, their mother tongue they think in, and they, that's the translation they produce on paper or in in their language, uh, which shouldn't be the case. I feel if uh, if you want to properly train a, a person in to English language, you should train them to think in English language. So additionally, speaking and listening skills can be developed through highly specific targeted scripts for conversation and such can be practiced with machines again uh, we can uh, we can bring in machines along with human teachers for specific purposes it ensures a better understanding of aspects of languages uh, like i previously talked about how language uh, can be divided into 
particular elements of uh, and the particular treatment can be given to different elements. Um, what what will be different this time uh, than what has been done previously is that now if there are eight elements, you can group them and give each of them different uh, treatment. Most of it would be uh, technological, and of course, some of them would get uh, tr treatment in the form of uh, the traditional methods that have been going on. Uh, the next is a virtual learning which includes online courses for which original content, the, the idea of original content is important here to, to tailor, the, tailor the content according to the needs of particular groups of students, uh, at least, if not particular uh, learner individually. So original content can be developed by the teacher themselves or existing courses can, be, uh, can also be used. Teachers who even pride themselves on, on being modern in the technique also restricts, uh, restrict la uh, themselves largely to creating or prescribing just the online videos. But I feel designing a whole specific course uh, can be a game changer in today's time. Uh, I mean, in, in, the, in the wake of uh, COVID-19, you see uh, Harvard courses uh, being taken by people. You see course that are being uh, hit. And I think that that is the larger idea. That is the direction that we need to move in now. Um, so th this is a, a table of uh, which it tries to encapsulate the larger ideas of uh, the theory or uh, the approach I propose. It, it lists the theories that have been taken into consideration at behaviorism, linguistics, social linguistics, school of thought, and social psychology. The tools, uh, I, I haven't talked about all the tools here since uh, due to the restrictive time. Uh, and there are targets. So, of course, age, age is an important factor. A learner could be of 60 years, 40 years, 50 years. And that's why I, I think that the traditional uh, methods or tools that have worked uh, historically shouldn't be shouldn't be uh, done away with. They should still be retained. I feel for, to cater different types of learners. Sir, you have to. Uh, this is my concluding slide. Uh, so I feel that one can hardly claim that uh, we are often or ever in some aspects updating our language teaching methods. Most of the methods being used uh, have been employed since more than a decade. So. Although old, uh, old methods are bound to fail in today's time, which which is very natural, and and these will yield disastrous results. The proposed integrated approach is an innovative method that can lead to disruption in the field of English language teaching. It aims to upgrade both the teacher and the learner for a modern uh, modern learning environment. The method can also solve numerous gaps or problems in the existing models. It can help overcome the monotony, the ineffectiveness, the obsoleteness, and, and that have eaten into present methods. Uh, and the larger idea being that the learner will not only be taught how to use the language on paper, but will be uh, enabled and encouraged to feel uh, the language, uh, which is which is again uh, what I talked about previously, that I feel that tons of people can speak English, but hardly uh, you, you hardly come across people who can actually think in English and uh, come out with uh, content that is originally English rather than translating uh, the stuff in their head and then coming out with it in English. Uh, and that's my concluding remark. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, next, I would like to invite Pooja Vithani. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm here. Uh, is it visible, my PPT? No, it's not visible. Now? Yes. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm Pooja Vithani. Uh, the title of my paper is Auditing Sustainability. Just a minute. For... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you can also put your camera on if you wish to. The slides uh, are visible. Uh, just a minute. Again, let me uh, remind to all the presenters. Uh, it will be good because we can see you also. Uh, as a presenter so it is advisable to put your camera on when you make your presentation 
Uh, may I? Hi. Have you put your camera on? Uh, I think that is a problem. I'm not capable to do that. Ah, okay, uh, fine. Yeah, please continue. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, at the initial stage of spreading COVID-19 in India, short and long-term uh, lockdowns which created commotions were imposed on metro cities and later on the whole country. Uh, many looked at the ways uh, of avoiding the adverse consequences of infodemic and isolation. Uh, most of the solutions ended to the technology which is a prerequisite for connections with the outer world. Among the non-commercial activities during four periods of lockdown in India, the idea of skill development has been focused. And one of them is the trend of multilingualism. In India, English is the most influential foreign language. It has also been blamed to be the language of colonization. And so it is taken up as a skill itself. Therefore, a consolation is common among Indians that knowledge is not restricted to the English language only. However, the facts cannot be neglected. It has been considered as a lingua franca and employability factor. The English language shares more than 50% of the languages used on the internet. Uh, who can afford to overlook Google Guru? Uh, in July 2012, uh, when Facebook was the mightiest social medium in, in India, it reported that English language shared almost 99% of total language usage. People can learn this language like mother tongue since it is used everywhere. Then the question is why we have to think of ERT in Indian context? It is because the fact is that the quality of language is being degraded. On the contrary, if the inferior standards are criticized, the titles are given such as language police or uh, grammar Nazi. ELT should be the center of regard from the initial stage of formal education if higher education will be pursued in the English language. ELT. Uh, ELT has been uh, included in formal education and treated as any other subject. Moreover, our syllabi emphasizes uh, the grammar or theory part more than its effective and timely application practically. Language fluency is not a matter of some methods of hard work. This claim should be removed. Uh, first of all, uh, the perspectives needs to be altered. Uh, the methods of ELT must be fun and interesting. Uh, this should be like advertising. Number one, doing what the learners want to see. Number two, being where the learners focus is. Mobile phones, tablets, laptops hold the world within. They are the main resources for learning colloquialism, including word plays, slangs, punchlines, and etymons. This method will be far more effective than classroom teaching since it results in the immediate use of English language in speaking. The classroom teaching should be limited to only a touch up for formal usage of the English language. Other technological tools can be used for formal and advanced ELT. Why should be the technology used for ELT during the pandemic? The results of both the states must be evaluated with technology and without technology. According to UNESCO, almost 70% of students were not attending schools due to this pandemic. ELT through technological tools can continue studying without avoidable interruptions. Class, uh, Google Classroom, Adobe Connect, uh, Google Meet, Zoom and other cooperate at some extent for the distance teaching learning purpose. Sometimes cyber attacks are a major concern, however they can be settled. The recorded video lectures or study materials allow learners to access ELT at a convenient time. Flexibility may increase the widespread learning. We English language teachers can relieve the consequences of infodemic by using ELT. Written communication, even on social media, forces the users to think about their language efficiency. Out of the classrooms, this media provide assessment of grammar, vocabulary, and creative writing skills. For the listening part of language learning, movies, documentaries, and web series with subtitles are far more functional. Technology has been serving the authentic sources of ELT. The viewers grasp 
catchy words and try to imitate imitate the pronunciations in the routine communication indirectly this also enriches the speaking part of the english language accents are easier to be taught with practical examples like emma watson uses british as well as american accent assessment you yes more minutes uh, yes ma'am uh, assessments in eld cannot follow the pattern of other subjects or field of knowledge online assessment and evaluation methods are faster and reliable technological tools make the adaptive test method accurate rural india cannot be neglected as it is assumed that the trend of counter urbanization can be seen at least for a year the digital divide between urban and rural or remote areas is not identical the noticeable complications for elt are revolving around the infrastructure less technology power call uh, low quality of devices uh, poor internet connection financial condition uh, and electricity availability a uh, tackled necessitates finding alternatives or can wait longer to be fully equipped with infrastructure in all the areas the problem of tackled seems to be addressed by multiple ends which are the the curriculum development committee or similar bodies tutors learners and intermediaries including learners and parents on the other hand elt has already achieved a higher Uh, sorry achieved a height with technology and they both are now inseparable the new normal 2020 demands the development of tackled uh, what is required for tackled digitalized english language teaching and learning should be instigated by teachers technocrats and learners lacking study environment and discipline are also observed in online classes netiquettes can maximize accuracy in elt the rapport with the learners achieved in physical classrooms may be lacked online at the initial stage the tutors need to be trained for giving superior quality elt to maintain sustainability uh, thank you thank you very much thank you next i would like to invite pooja dawa here am i audible yes audible okay i'm presenting now is my screen visible no it's not um second is it visible now yes okay my name is pooja dabar and my topic is living with screen since inception schooling as a concept has been an experience that involves teachers students and a premise that ensures an atmosphere of physical learning mental hygiene and intellectual growth mobile phones are strict no no they wander focus hinder growth and obstruct the learning environment the restrictions are primarily for students but teacher and parents had no escape as well however the, this pandemic has turned the tables upside down the educational institutions that have so far abstained the use of mobile are nit are now literally surviving because of it the schools and colleges are within our phones and are trying their best to protect Uh, to protect their very being through these testing times the designated screen time if ever allowed used to limit the exposure to these techni- technological booms and bains for an hour or two max but now the schooling revolves around the screens only whether it is to hold subject classes recreational activities or soothing our minds just like god sent animals with an undetachable tail to live through their lives the humans are having to attach themselves to their mobile phones laptop and ipads the pandemic and the lockdown have also forced us to digitalize pure and simple form of human relation that is friendship in a pre lockdown world friendship held a strong value linked with a significant need of physical comfort between two or more humans 
Indian mythological character like Vikram Betal, Vladimir at Estrogen from French absurd play Waiting for Godot, and famous cartoon characters like Shaggy and Scooby Doo emphasize on the importance these friendship hold in children's life. However, in turn of events, friendship has become an image on your mobile or laptop screen. For many, only during an online class. More than social distancing, this has also caused the students to bear the burnt of emotional distancing. But only for those who afford that privilege. The e-learning curve in India, a country that houses roughly 135 crore people, has forced, to, has forced many to abandon their dreams of education. People belonging to lower class or below poverty line have no leisure to think about learning or learning online with their feet bare, their bodies unclothed, and their stomachs empty. Many government schools and colleges have completely suspended education because they are given the duties to take care of migrant workers and others who are at need. However, when we look at the scenario through the lens of well-governed country, the education system in India could have evaded the worst of outdoors, worst of virus outbreak. Remember when Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal announced this his plan to ensure free Wi-Fi to India and when the University of Delhi handed over laptops to every student enrolled in the patch of 2013, Karnataka government giving free laptops to students in 2018. If these had been implemented, e-learning, online examination and distant education hadn't been such a terror. We could have been a halfway closer to accustoming ourselves to the new normal. Through this pandemic, the situation of teaching professionals reminisces of the orchestra band in the 1997 romantic drama that is Titanic. The world may be sinking, but the show must go on. According to CBSC and UGC guidelines, a teacher is a facilitator. But as the time change, a teacher is facing the need to turn her himself into a curator, gathering all the important points to explain students and creating enthusiastic and rich activities that enable the students to be an active subject and simultaneously ignite the fire to explore on their own. So far, we have been following a set curriculum that indicates preparing the students for upcoming exams. However, the virus outbreak has shown us that exams can be cancelled. It is not test but life that we should prepare our students for. The pandemic should be learning and the lockdown should be utilized as an opportunity to transcend the curriculum into one that fixates upon practical knowledge rather on a theoretical exam. Thank you so much for giving me this platform. Thank you. Now, I would like to invite the last presenter of this session, Nishat Tamanna. Yes, Hema, uh, also announce those people who are absent or not able to present, so yes. we can take Abhi. an attendance also. Abhi. And in case they are present, then we can give them a chance also. Okay, sir. Uh, yes, am I audible? Nishat Tamanna. Yeah, Nishat, you are audible. Yeah, you have to keep your camera on. Sir, can I uh, switch off my camera? That will be switch convenient on. for me. No, I don't want to switch it on. That will I'm be convenient for me. Okay. Me. Now, see, the problem is like uh, we never know who is presenting if we cannot see the face. Okay, sir. There may be dummy people presenting on behalf of other people, then the value okay, of okay. a certificate that we give may be doubtful. Yeah. Okay, sir. I'm switching it. So initially and in conclusion, you can come and then you, if you want to switch off, you can switch off and show the slides. Yeah. I hope all the people who are listening can understand our concern that we have to like record the people who are presenting because we are going to give certificates to uh, those, these paper presenters and there is a value of a paper presentation certificate also. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now sir. we can see you. We can see your slide also. Please continue. Okay, so a very good afternoon to the chairperson of the session, Mr. Paris Joshi, the convener of this national webinar, the anchor of this session, and all my co-presenters out here. It's my privilege to get an opportunity 
to present my views in such a platform. I, Nishad Tamanna, want to give a presentation on the title topic, Remote Online Teaching, uh, A Teacher Becomes Facilitator. There is a popular saying that technology is a useful servant, but a dangerous master, which dominates human beings' life in every possible way over the past several decades. Technology has become a fixer in many homes around the world. Its influence has penetrated into all facets of life, including English language teaching too. The aim of the study is to explore the impact of integrating media technology in ELT classroom and to analyze how much it assists learner in acquiring four language skills, namely listening, speaking, reading, and writing, and how far it is actualized effectively. In language teaching and learning, we have a lot to choose from the world of technology, such as radio, TV, computers, the internet, electronic dictionary, email, blogs, PowerPoint, video streaming, etc. This rapid rising and development of information technology have offered a better pattern to explore the new teaching model. One of the biggest change of COVID-19 pandemic and the resultant lockdown is remote online teaching. Schools have been shut to prevent the spread of the virus, and this has given way to new method, online classroom, a very new concept in India, even for the most sophisticated schools. It is highly commendable how easily some educational institution has moved to virtual classroom and all credit goes to some popular tools such as Zoom, Google Hangouts, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, etc. But there are a lot number of still struggling to get online. In Indian context, where the rate and quality of internet access is not up to the mark to meet the need of satisfied number of students during this lockdown period through technology-based e-learning, even after coming of 4G internet facility and decreasing of internet charges since the second half of the last decade of this century. Now, the uh, second point is technology-based remote online teaching and India. The COVID-19 has resulted in schools shut down all across the world. Globally, over 1.2 billion children are out of the classroom. There is popular saying, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And so the tough keeps teaching online. As a result, education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise of e-learning, whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platform. In a press release put out by Minister of Human Resource Development of India, on March 21st, 2020, the Union HRD Minister shared various free digital e-learning platforms that students can keep on their learning during COVID-19 based school closure. There are portals like the Diksha, NPOER, e-learning app, like ePartshala, Swam, Swamprova, a DTH with 32 channels, and Baiju's, a Bangalore-based highly valued EdTech company, and finally, a very popular online app, Unacademy. And it's needless to say that they are playing a significant role at the time of adversity. Challenges of online teaching. It is said that online teaching is a convenient investment, but not a good one. Every coin has its two aspects. The use of multimedia is sometimes not as good as it appears to be. Let's discuss. First, application of multimedia devices during teaching, the teachers may be turned into slaves to the multimedia and cannot play the leading role in teaching. It is observed in practice that a lot of teachers are active in multimedia technology application, but not proficient enough to handle it confidently. Teachers generally keep their eyes fixed on the computer screen, so there is hardly any eye contact between teachers and students. Second, owing to the remote online teaching, the mutual communication between teachers and students is fading away, while teaching of language and literature is justified 
only with teacher's explanation with appropriate expression and learner's simultaneous active response. The sound and image of multimedia, which replace the teacher's voice and textual analysis respectively, affect students' initiative to think creatively and access. At present, students' decreased reading and writing competence have become a major concern because textual words are replaced by sound, image, and graphics, and handwriting by keyboard input. Due to over demonstration and pre arranged order, the teaching, better called courseware show, neglects students' capacity of thinking, contemplating, and solving problems. In virtual class. You have two more minutes. Thank you, ma'am. In virtual classroom, due to the absence of blackboard, students lack clarity in understanding. Our education system still expects children to write exam. It's difficult to monitor actual writing in a virtual mode. Too much screen time can be perilous for health. Prolonged online session can be overwhelming and may lead to problems related to vision, body posture, and sleep disorder. Six, use of technology is good for universities and colleges where students teacher ratio is 20 or below. But the countries like India and other Asian countries that have larger population and larger classrooms, they cannot technology to be their fair friend. Now in the context of present adverse caused by the pandemic, UNESCO has estimated that around 1.26 billion children or 70% of children around the world have had their education and education interrupted because of the pandemic and a large number of these children are from that UNESCO calls low take or no take phase with India contributing 300 million of 126 1.26 billion children. According to the 2017-18 National Sample Survey Report on Education, only 24% Indian households have an internet facility. Now, given this backdrop, Professor Shahana Murthy explained the context behind the surge of online education in India as the idea of emergency remote teaching. And she points out a very vital issue that there is a difference between emergency remote teaching and effective online learning. Because although there is a gigantic hike in installation rate of Zoom-like app up to 728% as reported, but it's a matter of concern that how much it is effectively utilized to meet students' need. She explained that online teaching along with the requirement of tools such as online platforms, one needs access as well as trained teachers and well-equipped infrastructure at both end, which India lacks. A survey conducted by Dr. Ashwin Fernandez focused on whether India was ready for digital transformation reveals that more than 80% of India's population use their mobile hotspots for accessing internet, out of which 96% students faces problem. He believed that India is currently- Ma'am, ma time's up. Please conclude your presentation. Uh, yes, ma'am. Please give me one minute more. He believed okay. that India is currently stage one of the transition of face-to-face -face learning to online education where classes have begun to take, be taken online. A government of India's study itself refers that 55,000 villages are without mobile phone coverage and the literacy, digital lit literacy of India is 10% of the population. Under such situation, online learning will deepen the inequalities in education system of our country. To conclude, I can say that no Nobel laureate personality Malala Yousafzai's quote that one teacher, one sorry, one child, one teacher, one book, one pain can change the world. Marx said that the teacher can change the world. So teacher's duty does not finish just by completing the syllabi or imparting bookish knowledge, because teacher is a much broader term and he has to be a person who is. Empathetic, reliable, trustworthy, friendly role model to a student. Students expect that teachers will understand and cater his or her individual need. All these are actually possible when students and teacher will be under the same roof in an actual classroom environment. A student's days, most of the time, is passed in teaching learning process. So if there will be no human touch for such a long period of time, students will be deprived of emotional development and holistic aim of teaching. It will also bar to develop sense of respect for guru among the disciple. 
and will fade the age old indian tradition of guru shishya relationship ultimately a teacher will become mere facilitator which tends to confine an educator within a limited opportunity to perform the role of true guru so e learning can complement but not replace the direct teaching learning process but at the same time it's also true that uh, we should not restrict to incorporate technology and multimedia in such an important field like education but we have to keep in mind that we have to integrate the multimedia with traditional education system to make the most of it instead of becoming just slave we uh, and we have to remember that we are teaching online when we are teaching online we are not teaching to a screen we are teaching through a screen this technology based remote online learning actually proves savior for the educational industry during this lockdown period and this new trend in education is certainly going to bring a revolutionary change in post lockdown period as well most importantly educational institutions should begin to collaborate ict with traditional one with a view to reach a more fruitful amalgamation of educational sector and technology to strike a balance between the two maintaining the principle of equity and access to attain a new height of excellence in education system so what i have realized that i see it on web page i get attracted i watch videos i comprehend but when my teacher teaches me i get it by heart forever so my so let's imbibe with positive vibe my triple t formula that teach with take and tradition thank you so much for your cooperation and patience thank you now i would like to call those name who are not able to present before if they are present in case rashmi rekha rashmi rekha are you there baba meeta nahi jata meeta angle baba jata bar bar inta next ramakrishnan c Ramakrishnan ji are you there Next Rajkumar ji Rajkumar ji And the fourth one is Rachna Yadav Sir I think these four presenters are not present okay okay thanks hema for your anchoring yeah. and just uh, uh, in your report you submit that this were absent uh, okay sir okay. yeah and uh, uh, now we would request uh, our chairperson dr paresh joshi to give uh, the remark including remark sir well am i audible yes you are audible sir well i think it was thoroughly an engaging session and i i really enjoyed uh, as parul ji mentioned in the previous session it was i probably who learned the most because there were so many papers so many interesting topics uh, before i begin my response i would thank prof sabarad for the opportunity i would congratulate him for a truly international event we could see on the map uh, almost every country is participating even in india every state has a representation so kudos congratulations to the entire uh, team who has worked for the seminar now quickly coming to my responses i if all of you would agree with me uh, when we sit and see what was happening right now through the seminar the bandwidth is the luxury i think it is it is the connectivity which is so very essential if we want to connect ourselves online i that was my first observation because a lot of uh, presenters had to stop their presentation ongoing presentations because of uh, a poor connectivity with this prologue i would say that uh, the i have a few observations which i'll quickly put 
when I saw everyone presenting, time management was turning out to be uh, a central issue because some people really began well, and then they were they, they were falling short of uh, time to discuss their key issues. So uh, I, I'm sure there are many um, research scholars who are initiating themselves into research. I would quickly, uh, Professor Bharad, uh, do I have time to discuss uh, some of my observations? All right. <clears throat> Look, uh, I won't go sorry, into the- Sorry, you have five, five minutes, yeah, sorry. I, I'll do that, I know, because we, we are running short of time. See, when we do a paper presentation, uh, even in an actual uh, conference, always remember we have the constraint of time. Please don't waste time on building your background. You'll have to quickly come to your key points. There were some very good presenters, Prashant, uh, uh, Raj Desani, and uh, Suhasini. They all began well. Their presentations were rich with a lot of information, but they were too busy building the background that I didn't see them having sufficient time to discuss the key issues and conclude. So quickly try and see. For example, Professor Bharat has given me five minutes. Now I will have to quickly organize my ideas and its flow within five minutes. When you present, the first thing is quickly come to your objectives, give an outline as to this is how I'm going to present my papers, come to four or five seminal key points bring them out you know when we prepare a powerpoint presentation rich with information we are too uh, attached to it we fall in love with it and we want to show all slides don't do that because that's not going to work five points support them with proper citations once you do that you know come to a conclusion have sufficient time for conclusion so that what you want to want to put forth has been expressed this is what i wanted to say i have another one minute I have saved it. We can give it to uh, the organizer if he has some comments. I thoroughly enjoyed the session. Congratulations to all presenters. I know there were a lot of technological issues, technical glitches, but where there's a will, there's a way. We could all complete this session really well. Once again, congratulations to all of you. Thanks a lot, Dr. Pares. It was very brief and uh, very, very useful comments uh, for everybody yeah, there. Uh, so uh, 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 with uh, uh, lots of thanks to the chairperson, to our anchor, Hema, to all the presenters who made a wonderful presentations with very practical aspects that you have discussed here. We uh, end up our second session of uh, paper presentations here. Uh, we have a break for 45 minutes. And at 2.15, again, we will log in for the third pepper presentation session. So uh, bye bye to everybody. Thanks a lot to everybody.